Some California experts are wondering if our state's next gold rush could take place right in our backyard. The Salton Sea is one of the world's richest sources of lithium, a key element used in batteries. Now, some experts believe that as the demand for the crucial metal grows, thousands will begin flocking to the Salton Sea in hopes of cashing in on the rush. Reporter Mike Valerio has the details. It looks like a shimmering sea that was once called a miracle in the desert. The Salton Riviera, beside the blue Salton Sea, is the place for you to take charge of your future. A Hollywood hideaway three hours from Los Angeles where Sinatra and the Rat Pack played. But now, after decades of drought and farm runoff raising the water's salinity, the Salton Sea today is surrounded by dust and decay. The hope is that the chronic um, unemployment and poverty down here can be alleviated by the development of Lithium Valley. This gurgling and sputtering from underground gases potentially heralds a new beginning, a transformation from languishing vistas to Lithium Valley. These structures are called mud volcanoes when they're above ground. Geologist Michael McKibben explains deep underneath us where two tectonic plates are pushing past each other, magma heats groundwater. And within that salty water called brine, minerals dissolve, including the valuable metal, lithium. This is the gold right here. Yes. Solid lithium is essential for electric vehicle batteries. Right now, most lithium battery production is in China, but experts say the Salton Sea region could provide enough lithium to move the U.S. toward lithium independence, supercharging our EV transition. Our intention is to be in construction this year and be in operation in 2025. Eric Spomer is CEO of Energy Source Minerals, one of three companies planning to draw lithium from the underground hot brine. This is where the separation begins. Yes, this is where the high temperature, high pressure fluids coming up into our high pressure separator. Boiling brine already fuels 11 Salton Sea geothermal power plants, among them Hudson Ranch One. The brine steam spins its turbines and that creates clean energy. The plan now is to extract dissolved lithium from that same brine. We developed a technology that is incredibly efficient at extracting lithium from brine and rejecting impurities. One of the hopes with lithium extraction is that it could bring vitality back to the Salton Sea and so much of what we're looking at all around us. Fewer than 10 years ago, this was underwater and people who live in and around the area hope that with more money into the economy, at least a fraction of the Salton Sea can be restored to its former glory. Simply put, Ruben Hernandez, owner of the nearby Buckshot Deli and Diner, hopes a lithium boom leads to a boom in customers and a flood of tax revenue for a better future. My grandchildren will grow up here, he tells us. I hope they'll have good services and a good quality of life. That is, if lithium leads to a second miracle in the desert, one for our time and for the road ahead. On the banks of the Salton Sea, I'm Mike Valerio reporting. Earlier this week, Ford agreed to a deal with energy source materials to provide lithium for their fleet of electric vehicles. The companies released a joint statement where they touted their partnership would provide enough lithium to build half a million electric vehicles per year. News Channel 3 has repeatedly gone in depth on the future of the Salton Sea, and you can find our full reporting, including Angela Chen's special report, Troubled Waters, on our website, kesq.com.